that don't impress me much. So, artificial sperm has finally arrived. Women have been outliving men for years, and perhaps now they'll get rid of us altogether. So, artificial sperm has finally arrived. Women have been outliving men for years, and perhaps now they'll get rid of us altogether. We've always known that behind every great man was an even greater woman. We've always known that behind every great man was an even greater woman. We've always known that behind every great man was an even greater woman. We've always known that behind every great man was an even greater woman. Sarah Brown is shamelessly taking center stage. From Gay Pride to Glastonbury, she's outshined Gordon's G8 summit and fashioned herself the face of number 10. You think you're a genius, you drive me up the wall. You're regular, original, know it all. So who's to blame for the descent of man? This lot? We've certainly come a long way from the concept of the nuclear family. But maybe we've gone too far. Career woman Katie Price may have held all the power in her marriage to Peter Andre while he held the baby. But in the wake of their split, he's also held on to the dignity. So what's the future of men? The need for sperm donors may have been eliminated. Imagine the alternative. A women-only world. That don't impress me much. So what's the future of men? The need for sperm donors may have been eliminated. Imagine the alternative. A women-only world. That don't impress me much. So what's the future of men? The need for sperm donors may have been eliminated. Imagine the alternative. A women-only world. That don't impress me much. We apologize to those of you who have a nervous disposition <laughs> to what you saw there. Three Dianes for the price of one. We're joined by Amy LeMay. Welcome to the program. Hi there. Hello. See, now, a world full of women. How does that appeal? Well, I think it appeals. I think the hilarious thing is that men have kind of made themselves absolutely redundant because it's men sitting in these laboratories playing around with petri dishes inventing sperm if there's one thing in this world that we really do have enough of it's sperm so it, it, it's down to men it's their own fault so we are busy now a world full of women how does that appeal well i think it appeals i think the hilarious thing is that men have kind of made themselves absolutely redundant because it's men sitting in these laboratories playing around with petri dishes inventing sperm if there's one thing in this world that we really do have enough of it's sperm so it, it, it's down to men it's their own fault so we are well i think it appeals i think the hilarious thing is that men have kind of made themselves absolutely redundant well i think it appeals i think the hilarious thing is that men have kind of made themselves absolutely redundant. Well, I think it appeals. I think the hilarious thing is that men have kind of made themselves absolutely redundant. So it, it, it's down to men. It's their own fault. So we are... So it, it, it's down to men. It's their own fault. So we are... So it, it, it's down to men. It's their own fault. So we are... 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 It's their own fault. So we are building our own destruction. Yeah, you are. Bald. So we are building our own destruction. Yeah, you are. Bald. So we are building our own destruction. Yeah, you are. But if there's no <laughs> men in the world, I mean, really important issues come up here. For example, if there's no men, who's going to stoke the summer barbecue? Well, yeah, and who's going to carry my luggage? I don't know. You know, I've, I've done pretty well so far carrying Let's it put, myself. So get some wheels on it. <laughs> you don't need a man to carry your luggage. Certainly not. What about car maintenance? Well, I don't know. My dad's a plumber. He taught me how to clean a grease trap. You know, I've got no, I've got uh, no need in that Women can be car mechanics as well. <laughs> Michael, can any defense be made of men these days? Um, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Michael, can any defense be made of men these days? I'll um, take that as a no. <laughs> Michael, can any defense be made of men these days? I'll um, take that as a no. <laughs> Michael, can any defense be made of men these days? 
I'll um, take that as a no. Right, move on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Michael. Uh, You're really uh, doing well here. I, I don't know. I think we all, I think we all play our part. I... Oh, my goodness. What a weak defence of this. We all play our part. Yes. That's it. I'm joining the... We all play our part. Yes. That's it. I'm joining the... We all play our part. Yes. That's it. I'm joining the... We all play our part. Yes. That's it. I'm joining the women. We'll all beat up on Michael. That's it. I'm joining the women. We'll all beat up on Michael. That's it. I'm joining the women. We'll all beat up on Michael. That's it. I'm joining the women will all beat up on Michael. But um, the, the old feminist slogan, which you won't remember, was that a woman without a man is like a fish without a bicycle. It was a good slogan and very yeah. relevant. Mm. You mean, you mean, a woman without a man is like a fish without a bicycle. It was a good slogan and yeah. very relevant. Mm. You mean, you mean, a woman without a man is like a fish without a bicycle. It was a good slogan and yeah. very relevant. Mm. You mean, you mean, a woman without a man is like a fish without a bicycle. It was a good slogan and yeah. very relevant. Mm. <laughs> you mean, you mean, I have to think about that. You don't need one. Right. But let me just say one serious thing. This isn't the end of the program for serious things, but but boys growing up on some of my estates in Hackney oh. are actually growing up in a world without men. Particularly yes. men that actually go out to work and take up their responsibilities. And it's proving to be no, disastrous. It's not and it's good. not and it's no. not good. That's just a But this is a, this is another instance of men really making themselves redundant because it's men that are walking out. Mm. Um, you know, people saying, Oh my gosh, now women are gonna be able to have babies without men. Women have been having babies without men for a very, very long time. Because the men just disappear. Because the men just disappear. Or in men, women have not had an, a, a, a kind of a shortage of sperm. What women Women have had have been a shortage of men who want to stick around and help raise the children. So, 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 so actually, what we're focusing on, I mean, if, if women have children without men, of course, that doesn't mean there won't be any men because women will continue to have male babies. What it means is we're going to have worse sorts of men. Is worse sorts of men, but yeah, how? Worse sorts of men because there are no proper male role models for them. But the problem is initially caused by the men in the first place because they're, they're the Walking ones that skid out. Is it tougher, though, um, to be a man in the 21st century because they kind of don't know their place anymore? There's so many ro roles they're now meant to play. I think it is hard. And again, I'm being a bit serious, but I think for working, you know, the... the, the you know, if you were work, like my father, left school at 14, but he was able to get a job, he was a skilled man, he looked after his family, yes. he knew what his role and was. And had a purpose. And had a purpose. I think working class men now, yes. without qualifications, can't get jobs and have no purpose. So let me come back to Mr. Patillo and give him a second chance <laughs> on this, having failed lamentably first time round. Um, what, why don't you stand up for us instead of all you know, this constant beating up of men that takes place? Stand up. Speak, speak for the man of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, this, this, this is living this, proof that the revolution what, will not be masculine. This sisters, is what we're saying. Sisters, we are as one. <laughs> Let's just beat them up. No, I mean, it's so I mean, this is a thing. It's, it's a... So let me come back to Mr. Portillo and give him a second chance <laughs> on this, having failed lamentably first time round. Um... What, why don't you stand up for us instead of all you know, this constant beating up of men that takes place? Stand up, speak, speak for the man of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, this, this, this is living this, proof that the revolution what, will not be masculine. This sisters, is what we're saying. Sisters, we are as one. <laughs> Let's just beat them up. No, I mean, it's so I mean, this is a thing. It's, it's a, so let me come back to Mr. Portillo and give him a second chance <laughs> on this, having failed lamentably first time round. Um, what, why don't you stand up for us instead of all you know, this constant beating up of men that takes place? Stand up, speak, speak for the man of Britain. <laughs> you see, this, this, this is living this, proof that the revolution what, will not be masculine. This sisters, is what we're saying. Sisters, we are as one. <laughs> Let's just beat him up. No, I mean, it's so I mean, this is a thing. It's, it's a... So let me come back to Mr. Portillo and give him a second chance <laughs> on this, having failed lamentably first time round. Um, what, why don't you stand up for us instead of all you know, this constant beating up of men that takes place? Stand up, speak, speak for the man of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> You see, this, this is living this is 
living this, proof that the revolution what, will not be masculine. This sisters, is what we're saying. Sisters, we are as one. Let's just beat them up. No, I mean, it's so I mean, this is it's, it's, So let me come back to Mr. Portillo and give him a second chance <laughs> on this, having failed lamentably first time round. Um... What, why don't you stand up for us instead of all you know, this constant beating up of men that takes place? Stand up, speak, speak for the man of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you this, see? Is, this, is, this is living this, proof that the revolution what, will not be masculine. This sisters, is what we're saying. Sisters, we are as one. <laughs> Let's just beat them up. No, I mean, it's so I mean, this is <laughs> So let me come back to Mr. Portillo and give him a second chance <laughs> on this, having failed lamentably first time round. Um, what, why don't you stand up for us instead of all you know, this constant beating up of men that takes place? Stand up, speak, speak for the man of Britain. will not be masculine. This sisters, is what we're saying. Sisters, we are as one. Let's just beat them up. No, I mean, it's so I mean, this is it. I think I'm not even on the same page as you. I mean, I just, don't, I just don't understand this. I think you know, men and women are both there. They're no, Michael, both this isn't great working for you. Let's try and move to the other. Any now he'll be saying the beautiful. Are they a have popular a combination? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess in a way that we're now giving men the kind of abuse that the feminist movement you yeah. was, was, came about to stop women are getting that kind of abuse. It's, it's funny, you know, when they have to have a taste of their own medicine and it's, it's funny, you know, when they have to have a taste of their own medicine and it's, it's funny, you know, when they have to have a taste of their own medicine and it's, it's funny, you know, when they have to have a taste of their own medicine and it's, it's funny, you know, when they have to have a taste of their own medicine and it's, it's funny, you know, when they have to have a taste of their own medicine and, you know, men are experiencing uh, something that you know we've, we've bit, had a, a little bit. a little bit but let's not get carried away no. you know the most powerful positions in society whether you're talking about high court judges or the prime minister or top four oh top the business of 30 100 yeah, companies are dominated, dominated by, by men. men of course of course and you know there, if there was ever a need for feminism it it is more so now because we expect so much more but yet those gains have not been made so just like i said the revolution will be feminized and it should be feminized um men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over of course and you know there, if there was ever a need for feminism it it is more so now because we expect so much more but yet those gains have not been made so just like i said the revolution will be feminized and it should be feminized um men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over of course and you know there, if there was ever a need for feminism it it is more so now because we expect so much more but yet those gains have not been made so just like i said the revolution will be feminized and it should be feminized um men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over of course. And, you know, there, if there was ever a need for feminism, it, it is more so now because we expect so much more, but yet those gains have not been made. So just like I said, the revolution will be feminized and it should be feminized. Um, men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Of course. And, you know, there, if there was ever a need for feminism, it, it is more so now because we expect so much more, but yet those gains have not been made. So just like I said, the revolution will be feminized and it should be feminized. Um, men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Of course. And, you know, there, if there was ever a need for feminism, it, it is more so now because we expect so much more, but yet those gains have not been made. So just like I said, the revolution will be feminized and it should be feminized. Um, men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. Men just need to kind of sit on the naughty step for a little while and let women take over. There you oh, go. Oh, don't worry. Don't, let, <laughs> let me tell you exactly where he's going when this show is over. Let, 
Let me tell you exactly where he's going when this show is over. And let, let me tell you exactly where he's going when this show is over. And he'll still be there at breakfast time. Let's be honest, though, uh, Diane, you wouldn't like a world without lads. Um, no, as, as a mother and as someone that lives in the type of community I live in, you do see what happens when men aren't playing their role and they're not I mean, you would you would miss us. I would, of course I would, you oh. know, in all honesty. What are, what are Turkey based us for? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean... Uh... <laughs> no, no, just, since you're all speechless, I'm going to bring this program to an end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another triumph of public service broadcasting. It's been your delight for, tonight. That's, turkeys, that's your lot. Oh, they finally found their voice again. That's your lot. I'm off home to listen to any voicemails that you might have had while watching the show.